as humans, we are we're not very well suited for the constant onslaught of information and data. You know, we're not based on data in such a way as, as a computer would be, the more the better, right? Because we already see a lot uh, in our real data with our real senses, right? So there's a real issue about us always being on. It really messes up our thinking and our contemplation, our being in the moment, relationships with people. I mean, there's many people who have more relationships with their screens than they have with people, right? So what we need is sort of a right to disconnect, to reconnect to what we are by ourselves. I think in many ways technology is, uh, has become a religion and connectivity is a drug. And you could say also yeah, as a parallel effect, the human imperfection is kind of a new indulgence. So what you do online, you can make it perfect because it's just a simulation. But ourselves, you know, we, we have to live with who we are as humans. Mystery, lies, mistakes, uh, you know, imperfections, all the things that make us not machines. Now, this is becoming a key question because keeping things human has to do with trust. You know, humans are based on engagement, on relationships. Uh, humans are not living off the data pipeline, you know. And as I say in, the, in, in my book, Technology versus Humanity, uh, technology is great, but humanity is greater. <laughs>